Well, hello there. I don't really know what I want to say today, but there's like a lot of stuff happening in my brain right now. Um, I just got back from dinner and on the radio on the way home, we were listening to Minnesota Public Radio, All Things Considered. And uh, probably my favorite person on NPR is Ewan Kerr who is a Scottish guy, and he's, I don't know, I, I, I like him, I like his personality and stuff, but I, I just love the sound of his voice, too. He, he's just awesome. Anyway, he was, <laughs> he was interviewing this Scottish singer who um, is from the Hebrides, and she sings in Scots Gaelic. And, uh, you know, they played a little bit of uh, some songs that she's saying. She's really good. And it's nice hearing, you know, I like music in lots of different languages. Mostly I tend to listen to stuff in Spanish, but uh, Gaelic is good too. Got me thinking about um, people in other countries where there are, you know, different languages. Like Barry, you live in Ireland. Uh, do you speak any Irish? I, I would uh, like to know. <laughs> uh, apparently there are not very many people in Scotland who speak Gaelic anymore. Um, like 60,000 in all of Scotland. I don't know how many people there are in Scotland, but... Uh, but apparently in the in the Hebrides there are still people who learn Gaelic as like their first language, which is really cool, I think. <laughs> and there are a lot of people in Wales who still speak Welsh too, that's nice. I think it's kind of unfortunate in some places, like in a lot of Africa, they speak um, either Afrikaans, which is a dialect of Dutch in the southern part, so they speak French in a lot of Central and, and uh, West Africa. I think it's kind of unfortunate that they've, a lot of them have sort of lost their native languages. There's even, um, even some people who still speak Italian in Somalia. I didn't know this until fairly recently. In fact, I was at truck driving school and there were a number of Somalian immigrants who were going to truck driving school. And, uh, you know, I just heard them talking in another language and, and I listened to them a little bit, and they're speaking Italian, aren't they? <laughs> it was really kind of um, odd, but cool. Uh, part of what is now Somalia used to be the Italian, Italian Somaliland, I think is what it was called. So I think the whole Scots Gaelic thing really kind of spoke to me because my great 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 grandfather. Walter Cadwell, he was born in 1604 in Scotland, and he probably, he emigrated to the to America, not the United States, because it wasn't the United States yet. He emigrated to America when he was, what, 24. But he would have probably grown up speaking Scots Gaelic, which is pretty cool. <laughs> He emigrated to America in 1628. I know, all I know about him, which is kind of interesting, um, he was born in 1604 in Scotland. He had a son who was born in 1628, possibly in Scotland, possibly in uh, Connecticut don't really know. He married the mother of his child in Connecticut, in Hartford, in 1629. So what I like to think happened is uh, she got pregnant. Her family was not too happy. <laughs> so he kind of fled to America. Then, you know, got stuff together here, or 
not here because this is Minnesota and he was out east, which is that way. <laughs> you know, then she came over and they got married. Uh, that's, that's what I like to think uh, happened. It's kind of romantic, isn't it? Probably then that would mean that their son Thomas was born in Scotland. And then she came over afterwards. I don't think she'd undertake a long, you know, three month sea voyage while pregnant. So I think that's all for me today. See you tomorrow.